Okay, so got another panel for the RV. This is 160 watt. It's a, so I think it says on the back it's um, 9.5 amps. But usually I get a little bit more from this guy that makes them. I usually get about 10.5 amps on it, which is cool that he underrates it. So the first thing I got to do is I got to drill some holes, I think. Let's see. No, I don't have to drill any holes. You just use those. So I got to make some brackets that will be able to tilt. So I'll do that and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, this is for the bottom bracket. This is the bracket that's going to attach to the RV. This part is going to be on the RV. This part is um, for the bolt on the side so you can secure the, the panel to the bracket. Alright, so I got them bolted on. So now I just got to get it on the roof. I guess I was a little bit off. It's a 8.62 amps, but the last one I got, I got uh, 10, 10 and a half amps at the height of the sun. So, all right. So I hoisted it up, got it where I want it. Now I'm just gonna drill it down, and then I'm gonna put the brackets on, the bracing brackets. All right. So. Got them bolted down, taped up, and I'm done. Well, I gotta clean up. I'm gonna clean up the shavings, and I'm gonna tape that down with the eternal bond, and then I'm I'm done. Set. I'm good. So, hey, hobo beard. This is that tape that I was talking about. That eternal bond. I'm shaking like fart now. So I just got it taped down. Get it into the pipe and it's going down the refrigerator vent. Okay, so I just wanted to check to see if the paddles were working. I'm getting 198 watts, 14 amps. Oh, well, that's a lot more than I was getting before. I think this time of day I'd usually only get about eight, maybe seven. Probably seven, right? Because it's double. So I got the inverter on with the fan. I have the heater on just to pull a load. I got all the lights on. I got the fan on in the bathroom. And I'm pulling uh, 3.7 amps. So let's see if I see if I turn off the heater. Oh, it's gonna take a minute, huh? Just turned off my incandescent lights. Okay, so I still have the heater on. I turned off two incandescent lights and now I'm pulling zero amps. It's not bad. 200, almost 200 watts, 14.6 amps. Uh, and my battery's not moving, it's at 12.95. That's with the load. Pretty good. Not bad. Worth 160 bucks.